Yo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am back with some content. It's been a while since I made a video. As you can see, it looked like I ain't been here since season four, I believe. Season four, I was busy doing some other creative things, trying to get a business started, trying to get my life right. Well, try to make my life better. But this is your boy Hooligan Carnage back with another video, man. As you can see, I'm still doing damage. I've been told to release this video, but this was not a priority in my life at the moment. Uh, that built right there is is my two-way inside the arc finisher, which is a beast. But this is not the build that we're going to be talking about. This is not the build that we're going to talk about at all. I just wanted y'all to see some wonderful highlights of this build. Just like any of my other builds, I could, I could shoot, I could slash, I could dribble, and I play defense. That's why the majority of my builds are two ways. And I know people like, you don't have to put your perimeter high like that to be a defensive player or anything. But that's the way how I run. I got to have a high perimeter and I have to have a high steal. My mid-range could be a 78. I learned how to shoot with a 70 right now. But other than that, this is one of my greatest builds. But this is not the build that we'll be talking about today. The build, the build that we will be talking about today will be a shooting guard build. Majority of my builds are shooting guard. I have a couple power forwards. I have few small forwards. I really don't make centers because the me center is a handicap. And I don't make point guard because point guard is too much responsibility. I was a point guard get on my nerves in 2K. Most of the time they dribble most of the clock. And then you have someone that passes to you the last couple seconds. Now the other build that we're looking at is my two-way three-level threat. I made one in season one, but I did not understand the concept of 2K. And what I mean by that, I did not understand the concept of the shooting. I didn't understand the, the basis of the, the, the defense. So it was a great build, but I remade him. And I made him with a, a higher mid-range. And he still have that killer instinct from the um, from the three. Be honest, he shoot much better from the three now. But this is not the reason why I gather all of y'all here today. The reason why the reason why I gather y'all today is to check out this wonderful shooting guard. The shooting guard is what we call a, a ball hawk. Now at first I wasn't gonna make the ball hawk, I was gonna make another build that I seen, a mid-range slasher, which is a decent build. Uh, it would be one of my first offensive built if that makes sense um mostly offensive have don't have that much defense ball handling is up there but um yeah that was the girl we're gonna make and then a friend of mine told me about the ball hawk now in season two i made one i was going um i was gonna go ahead and build him up do my career but i didn't like i didn't like all his attributes so after looking at everything and going back over, I made the ball hawk the way I wanted him to be. So now we in season six, season seven, and one of these seasons. I, I keep losing track. But we in season six, I believe, and this is the ball hawk. As you can tell, he do cut to the paint. He have a, a 87 driver down. Can he shoot threes? Of course he shoot threes. It's a carnage build. Can he do putbacks? Yes. And he look damn good doing putbacks. There ain't no little simple putbacks or anything. The only thing I wish the build had was more speed and acceleration. Now we're gonna look at the build right here. As you can tell, he have a low close shot. He have a 68 driving layup, a 87 driving dunk, a 34 standing dunk. His mid-range is at 86. Hit three balls at 78. The free throw is a 71. Pass accuracy is a 77. They give you that John Morant passing. His ball handle is an 80, so he do have a little crossover. He can't break ankles when I need him to. Uh, speed with ball is a 71. 
his uh, interior defense is low. His perimeter defense is an 83, which is rare for me, but normally most of my builds have a 87 perimeter defense. That will make them two ways. But I made this one with an 83 perimeter defense. It still is a 95, which is one of the highest I put on my builds. His blocks is a 68, so he can get blocks. It's rare, but he can get blocked, especially if the, the uh, opponent is shorter than me or the same height as me. Um, the defensive rebound is a 60, if I could get that, that bronze rebounder. Now with his physical, the knee is horrible. I, I could really, I could have really made this build as a small forward, as he have an 80 speed, a 73 acceleration, I really don't do nothing on strength with my shooting guards. Gotta find out as long as that as long as you have speed, you can really just dominate the paint. His vert is an 80 and his um, stemma is a 93. Um that why that why it was difficult for me to make this build. I wanted more in my build than you know just a low speed and acceleration. I wanted him to be fast, especially as a shooting guard. But other than that, the build do damage. As you can see, I can, I can hit three. Running out, I can, I can definitely dunk on people. And if they don't keep their eyes on me, I, I would do damage at any position that I'm at with this build. Let me rephrase that. I could do damage when I'm running on this build in this position. Small four position, it kind of hard because most small follow fours now is six eight six nine. Uh, power fours now six nine six ten, and I don't see a whole bunch of six nine six ten six eight center. So like when it come to that, it's kind of hard. But this build do do damage. I can shoot the three with a seventy eight three ball. I'm learning how to do it with a seventy. I can't space out the floor. I can definitely steal the ball when I need to. But it's up to you how you make this build. And this is your boy Hooligan Connors back with another video, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I apologize for the hiatus, but I'm back.